my friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. Today's Friday, March 18th. We had our shop talk this morning. It's now presently 1.15 in the afternoon. I am finishing up this mandolin. You can see all the frets are back in it. I did get it finished. It was a terrific fight, Ma, but I won. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was just tough all the way through it. I've got the pick guard more or less restored and it's ready to go back on it. So we're gonna put that on right now. And I didn't used to need these things, but I kind of need them now, these close-up glasses. So we'll put this on here and we'll squeeze it back and forth till it goes tight and it did. And then the hole should line up here and we can put the screw back in it. And the screw was here until I turned the camera on. Here it is. I think we're good to go. Hey, can't complain about that. We got the neck all cleaned up for him too. So he ought to be happy about that and that. And now we've got a fretboard done here. I haven't actually looked down the fretboard to see if, it, you know, I've got the frets in it, but I didn't look down it to see if it looks good and flat. Quite honestly, there's a little more underbow than this thing needs. I'm going to see if it will allow me to adjust the underbow. Let's see if it'll let me twist this. I'm trying to get the, yeah, the, it's kind of loose actually. I snugged it up pretty good. Let me look down it. For my money, it's still underbowed. When you can see it clearly, you got too much, and especially on a mandolin. That's pretty tight now. Let's see, did it make a difference? Yep, that made a difference. And quite honestly, the frets are pretty dang level, but I wouldn't call them perfectly level. So we will have to do a, I'm gonna just tap these. Just tapping them a little bit there just to make sure they're down. They look pretty darn close, but they're not perfect. So I think I'm gonna put the truss rod cover back on because I do think we've got the truss rod tight enough now. I do think it needed that. It's been needing that for a while. The fact that the truss rod was so loose is an indication that the neck had pulled up quite a bit. When I say pulled up, I don't mean from the body. I mean just up in the middle, you know, from the right here in the middle, it swayed and the peg head had pulled up. And I'm going to get my fret leveling tool out and do a very quick fret leveling. I can feel it hitting in a few places. Well, looking down it, I think that would play, but I do think we can go a little more and get it a little bit better. I think we're going to go with that. Now I'm going to recrown these off camera. You, you've seen me do that a million times. I'm just going to recrown it and uh, polish them up a little bit maybe and then we'll show you the finish. Well I've recrowned all the frets. I think I am going to go ahead and polish them with this uh, 600 paper though. Just trying to work the oil in right up next to the fret. And I think we're getting there. This will just, you know, keep the fretboard lasting longer, looking better, etc. So, I think that's plenty good. 
You don't need to let it set very long. Some people think you need to let it set a long time to soak in. Wood is going to absorb what it needs to absorb pretty quickly for the most part. Uh, it doesn't need to absorb at a great depth. I'm going to look down at one more time because I like to know what it looks like. And I'd say we're good to go in terms of playability at least. I think it's going to be fine. And I'll get the strings on it and show you what that looks and sounds like. Well, my friends, as I said already, it was a tough fight, but I won. I didn't put his tailpiece cover back on, so here we go. Let's get that back on there. And I think it turned out really nice. So we fixed the uh, spot up here, got that pretty well cleaned up. You can still see the brake line, but it's smooth. You know, fixed that all up, got rid of all the creeping crud off the back of this thing and got her set up and playing real nice. Did a nice fret job on it. Got a real good punch. Real solid Gibson style mandolin. Feels just like a good one. Sounds just like a good one. Very good mandolin. I'm gonna send this out to the Ukrainians out there and all those folks that are just being abused. I mean, it's just horrible what they're going through. Three million refugees. I feel for them every day. They're in my thoughts and prayers. And I think this song is appropriate. A woman in the Bible days, her last meal almost gone. God sent Elijah to make his word known. He said, woman, don't you worry, for God sent me today. And before you even ask him, help was on the way. So just hold on a little longer, help is on the way. A brighter day is coming. Even pray, help won't help tomorrow if you give up today. So just hold on a little longer because help is on the way. Troubles of this life come round and burdens get you down. You think no one is listening. And you think no one's around Just remember what his word said Trust him and obey And keep your eyes toward the heavens Because help is on the way So just hold on a little longer Help is on the way A brighter day coming for those who believe and pray and help on help tomorrow if you give up today so just hold on a little longer because help is on the way no help on help tomorrow if you give up today so just hold With the string stretching and all, <laughs> brand new strings on it. I put the J75s, by the way, Diodario's on here. I believe that's what he asked for. And those are, that's a good choice on a, on a good mandolin. So, very nice mandolin. Hope you enjoyed my series, even though I had a lot of complaints along the way with these doggone hands and how tiny those little frets are. There's a close-up look at those little tiny frets. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next vlog, which will probably be Monday. Thank you.